my name is Matthew Hanna. I work for the Health Protection Agency. I'm the electron microscopist. So I look after the electron microscope and look at the pathogens that we're interested in. So this is an electron microscope. This is a catch-all method um, for pathogen detection. You can use this machine when you don't really know what the pathogen is that's causing the syndrome or the disease. And the reason for that is that we actually look at the sample, we actually look at the pathogen that's, that's in the specimen. As opposed to molecular tests, which require some knowledge, for this, if uh, there's some unexplained or emerging or mutating pathogen that hasn't yet been described in other terms, then this hopefully allows us to actually see what's going on and see what's in the sample. This is um, a virion of the ORF virus. So this is actually normally a zoonosis. This is a virus which infects sheep. But around this time of year, um, in sort of May, June time, um, we also get it in the human population for where people have been handling sheep, often around lambing season. So they'll come up with these um, pox often on their hands or on their arms and the doctors send us samples with suspected ORF. So we take the specimen, we apply it to some of our electron microscope grids, we put it in the electron microscope and then look to see whether we can see structures um, like this. And this is very, very um, diagnostic of ORF. There's no other virus which looks anything like this. But for other kind of um, um, diseases, there may be no clue really as to what the pathogen is causing it. And therefore, electron microscopy, you have what's called a catch-all look just at the specimen, and you can see basically what's in there. So you, haven't, you don't need to know what pathogen it is that might be causing the, the disease.